Back. Last week, we took a ghost tour of UTC. For this story, I met with a ghost expert who works with the Chattanooga Ghost Tours. But instead of doing the interview in a place where the tour guides actually take people, we were given permission to enter the infamous Chattanooga Underground. This is the Chattanooga most people are used to seeing, a bustling city that almost never sleeps. But there is another Chattanooga, one we don't see because it's well below ground. A dark city that time forgot. A city where the only life you find is roaches, rats, and mold. And according to stories from frightened public works employees whose job takes them underground, something else thrives down here. Ghost. And they've told us that there have been the kind of ghosts down there that you don't want to encounter. The kind that you might hear about from horror movies. Ghost expert Hope Holloway says the ghosts down here are known to cause trouble. They can get into your head and make you lost or confused. The origins of Chattanooga's underground ghosts are said to date back to March of 1867, when four days of nonstop rain caused the Tennessee River to crest 28 feet above flood stage, leaving downtown Chattanooga underwater. Residents who could retreat to higher ground survived. Others drowned. The city suffered more devastating floods in 1875, 1886 and 1917. Holloway believes the underground ghosts are the result of those deadly floods. I mean, anytime you have an amount of deaths, you tend to have some supernatural activity associated with it. Parts of Chattanooga were rebuilt 20 feet above the old city. This is a tunnel which leads from the basement of the sports barn to what used to be Third Street in the late 1800s. It's not a part of the nightly Chattanooga ghost tours, but sports barn managers allowed us access for the story. An employee who's never been down here before followed us into the underground and noticed something foreboding. I can't explain it. I don't know. Um, I walk right there, it's cold. I walk right here, it's hot. I walk back there, it's freezing cold. It's unexplainable. You just gotta experience it yourself. This is also Holloway's first time in this section of the Chattanooga underground as well. So you can just feel that there's something different here. And it's not just what you feel, it's what you don't see. There's always more than meets the eye. I mean, our underground here in Chattanooga is not something that people have always known about or talked about, but it's there. There's this whole a hidden aspect to the city and just kind of ripe with the supernatural activity. And whether you believe in the underground ghost or not, there's one truth that can't be denied. You never know what's out there. <laughs> Again, the area where we did that story is off limits to the public and would require special permission to go down there. Now, if you would like to learn more about Underground Chattanooga or the Chattanooga Ghost Tours, go to our website at WDEF.com and click on the story. And as a disclaimer, we are not responsible if you become haunted by ghosts in your computer screen. Amy and John are back with their Halloween TV tributes when we come back. Stay with us.